Hello my darlings, welcome! If you are ready for a mega video, you are at the right place! We are doing top 20 for spring Easter decor. DIY number 1. I found this sewing machine from Joanne's and I'm just gonna decorate it. I'm putting a foam in the middle and I'm adding some flowers and some greeneries from Dollar Tree. Just like so. If you're ready for a spring and Easter decor, you're at the right place. And today I have 20 DIYs that I created last year. Some of you saw them, some of you never saw them. And they're super easy, made on a budget, and they'll be ready for our spring and Easter decor. After I finished with the greenery, I had a large 3D butterfly, and that's about it. And look how beautiful it came out. I put it on a stand. Actually, I gave this to my mom and she really loved that because she likes to sew all these kind of beautiful things in her sewing machine. So it was just perfect for her. You gotta let me know what do you think? Classy, high-end, French country, shabby chic, beautiful decor. DIY number two. I'm using these 3D metal rings from Dollar Tree and I'm just putting them together. Just like so. They're super easy to put together. Just like so. Just put that metal star on top and metal star on the bottom. Let's repeat it again on the smaller ring wreath. So we got that star looking metal ring, put it in the middle and the edges, put them on each of these rings. So we can create them look like a sphere. When one side is done, we're doing the same thing on the bottom as well. adding the star and those edges we're just putting them in each side of the ring super simple as that so in case you were wondering how this wreath is put together simple as that so if you see it at dollar tree just grab some you're gonna make a beautiful centerpiece i'm putting on the bottom this beautiful metal stand that i purchased from twins just for a couple of dollars and now i'm adding these lamb ear garlands around those rings just like so after i'm done putting all those greeneries now i'm adding some yellow berries going all over those metal rings so we can give a more beautiful look for it just like so now i have this beautiful bunny and i'm using this french print ribbon also from joanne's and i'm just gonna make a simple bow and put it around his neck just like so i tie the ribbon i cut off the edges as a fishtails and i'm just gonna make a simple bow for the middle This bunny is gonna go inside of my centerpiece. I also added some beautiful eggs, also from Dollar Tree, and it already looked perfect. I also added some colorful uh, spring flowers, also from Dollar Tree, just so we can have that touch of the French country, French shabby chic look. Just a little bit of them. Lilac, cream, pink, and it's gonna be ready. With the help of a bow maker, I'm making a large bow with a couple of ribbons, and this bow is gonna go on top of our centerpiece.
looking beautiful in my coffee table and look how beautiful and fancy it looks for DIY number three I found this beautiful galvanized tray from Joann's on sale and I'm gonna fancy it up I'm using this garden fence from Dollar Tree before I spray painted with a brown spray paint and now I'm cutting the edges and the tops so I can put it all together and put it around my tray Now I'm putting it around my galvanized tray, putting it on top of it, just like that. I'm gonna add some Chanel stamps on the side and a hot glue. And that's about it for this DIY. Super easy, but look how fancy it already look. For our upcoming holidays, for just a regular home decor throughout the whole year. You can put anything inside of it just for decorations. I'm adding these beautiful greeneries inside, just like so. Adding these beautiful two green bunnies. Gonna add some eggs and it's ready for Easter. You gotta let me know what do you think. Super easy for less than five, six dollars and you can make this beautiful high-end looking centerpiece. For next DIY, we're gonna make some eggs. I got this large eggs from Dollar Tree and I'm using this golden ribbon that I had purchased from Amazon long time ago and it's gonna look perfect so we can make our beautiful golden egg, right? Everybody needs a golden egg in their house. <laughs> so I hope I'm giving you a lots of inspiration today for you to sit down and create for your home. And I'm just using a hot glue and going all over those ribbon and that's how it looks. Look how beautiful. For DIY number five, I'm making another egg. This time will be my pearl egg. I'm using smaller and a larger pearls fall pearls from Dollar Tree and I'm just going all over the egg until it's all fully covered. I'm already in that French country cottage look. What do you think? <laughs> DIY 6. I'm using another egg. This time will be Opash. I'm using this napkin that I purchased from Hobby Lobby on sale, adding a mud patch and going all over the large egg. You can use any print you like to decoupage your eggs for your home decor this year. And for DIY number seven, we're starting with our beautiful wooden signs. I use a truffle chalk paint and when it's dry, I just add a mud patch and this beautiful printout with the bunny and I added some bow, lace bow and a key in the corner and that's it for that DIY. For DIY number eight, I'm using this sign from Dollar Tree. I mud pudge it. I'm using this scrapbook sheet papers with a French written words on it. And also I'm adding this beautiful bunny printout as well. Adding a mud patch to seal my sign going all over it. I have also making a bow. I'm using this beautiful navy lace bow and I'm just making a couple of loops, gluing the edges just like that. It's like a burlap lace ribbon, also on sale from Joanne. And I made another one in the middle and that's it. And look how pretty it came out. I'm really loving this style. You gotta let me know what do you think. For DIY number nine, I'm using another sign, also using a mud patch. 
using this scrapbook sheet paper also adding a mud patch again and another French style spring printout I make sure there's no air bubbles in the sign before I mud patch the other part of the paper and it's beautiful since I'm a proud plaid ambassador I am enjoying using their plaid products and loving making decoupages I made this beautiful bumblebee bow with a totally dazzle brush and that's it for that sign for sign number 10 I'm using this oval sign I covered the edges with the wording and in the middle this beautiful French printout and now I'm just making a bow with this small ribbon and that's it for this sign look how fancy you gotta let me know what do you think for DIY number one another wooden round wooden oval using a mud patch super simple I just want to show you how easy is the decoupage and how beautiful art you can make for your home also I covered the edges with a different paper scrapbook sheet paper and in the middle another beautiful French Paris printout just like so and look how beautiful it came out I made this beautiful lace ribbon and another ribbon on the bottom and I also had some jewelry and that's it look how beautiful for number 12 I already have this sign that I used the lace stencil before for my previous projects and now I'm just adding on top this beautiful printout as well and making another bow smaller and a larger ribbon and that's about it for this DIY just making simple bow like that cutting up the edges also I'm gonna add a mini pearl from totally dazzled in the middle and that's about it you gotta let me know what do you think about these beautiful signs that I made for number 13 I'm gonna make these beautiful pillows purchase those pillow covers from Amazon they were on sale and now what I'm doing is I'm using this transfer on stickers from plaid with a scraper with a Cricut scraper going all over the wording and make sure they all will be placed on the pillow all done I removed the top of that and voila look at this beautiful print and off camera I also use the material mud patch Actually, it's called fabric mud patch for a seal and protection and that's it I made another pillow with another printout and look how beautiful it came out you gotta let me know what do you think here is my beautiful Fiki and look at my beautiful French printed pillows you gotta let me know what do you think and here is the centerpiece that I made before we head on to the next DIY so you can see how it look in camera and here are my signs on my coffee table you gotta let me know what do you think French style French country French cottage shabby chic whatever you like it you can call it but I really enjoy making all this French charm DIYs I'm so into it I can make any type 
DIYs, but I'm so much into French style. It's so beautiful and romantic and classy and simple on the other side. This is my beautiful Fiki, my prints. number 14 I found this wooden sign from Joanne's it was on sale from St. Patrick's Day there was some kind of wording in there I tried to get rid of them and now with my sanding machine I'm gonna sand it off and make it all nice and smooth I got this sanding machine from Walmart very cheap and it's doing its work Now when it's all nice and smooth, look at this beautiful shape of it. I'm gonna add these half wooden beads around the side, just like so. First, I'm placing them on, make sure there is enough space in between each other so we don't have any gaps. And I'm gluing them with my hot glue, hot Gorilla glue going all over. these blocks from Dollar Tree I cut them on pieces and I use four of them to use them on the bottom of my tray for the handles I use these wooden snakes also from Dollar Tree I cut them on half and I put them as a handles on each side also I'm using these beautiful wooden cutout flowers for each corner of my tray as an extra detail and now another transfer on sticker from plaid using the scraper and also on the corners i'm going to use this beautiful mini transfer on stickers from dollar tree just to get that french vibe on this tray as well 
and look how beautiful it's looking you gotta let me know do you like what I did nothing without the mud patch to seal the whole stickers that I transfer on my wooden tray I'm using a mud patch and that's it and here is my tray ready to be served I made this beautiful cocoa vanilla cake with the strawberries I made a cup of tea and I presenting to you a beautiful tea party with this beautiful tray and this beautiful teacups and tea mugs and look how beautiful spring Easter look. Gotta let me know what do you think. I also added those gnomies. I was so much into gnomies last year. <laughs> I had to have them in any kind and any shape that they were coming. And this beautiful cake. If you need the recipe, let me know. I will write it to you. It's super easy to make. number 15 I'm gonna make a know me sign I am using this egg shaped sign from Dollar Tree I'm using the other side of the sign I painted with a yellow paint and I printed out on a rice sheet this know me picture that I took from my runner I took the picture from my runner you're gonna see and I'm just using a mud patch adding this rice sheet going just like that smooth it out make sure it's all nice and smooth and I'm just gonna decoupage it using the mud patch again on top just like so for all those lovers to know me you guys gonna love this sign I add those transfer on stickers on top I added those 3d stickers as well and that's it for this DIY very cute and this is my runner happy spring to match with my sign DIY number 16 I'm using this galvanized pot from Dollar Tree previously I painted with a white paint and now I'm gonna decoupage it with this napkin and we're gonna make a Mackenzie topiary dupe so I'm just decoupaging it just like that super simple next i'm using these wooden dowels and i'm painting them with a brown paint you can use any paint even dollar paint can work and now i'm gonna put those dowels together glue them with a hot glue and this is gonna be our stem for our topiary next i'm using this foam ball and we're gonna make it with the flowers and the greeneries adding all those leaves and the greeneries and they all gonna be from Dollar Tree all those greeneries and flowers that you are seeing they're all from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing first the leaves going all over my sphere and next I'm adding the flowers until my whole sphere is complete with flowers and we can have a beautiful spring Easter flower Topiary.
stem before that i put some uh, styrofoam some flower foam on the bottom of my planter i'm adding some leaves i also glued the stem with my sphere added some bunnies and some eggs and some greeneries and moss and that's it for this beautiful colorful topiary number 17 we're gonna make this beautiful wreath i'm using this foam wreath from dollar tree i'm gluing this grass around the foam and now i'm adding flowers around all those flowers also from dollar tree beautiful purple lilac blue yellow green beautiful happy colors and I am doing all over until the whole wreath is fully complete with the flowers. Next, I'm adding this beautiful bunny sign, also from Dollar Tree. I remove that larger ring and that's it. For number 18, I'm using this foam bunny, also from Dollar Tree. I'm using my mini purple lilac foam roses. I got those roses from Amazon and I'm just gonna cover the whole bunny until the whole bunny is covered i'm adding a mini polka dot around his neck now i'm adding him in this bicycle piece i'm adding some greeneries and my bunny is ready for the garden also adding some foam adding these beautiful flowers from dollar tree and we're making a beautiful centerpiece for our easter or for spring or for summer anytime throughout the beautiful weather adding these beautiful carrots for extra details adding some eggs and of course some butterflies 3d butterfly stickers from dollar tree and this piece is done you gotta let me know what do you think For DIY number 19, I'm going to make this beautiful sign. I'm using a Dollar Tree sign frame. I cut off those pieces of flowers and all those flowers, I'm gluing them on top of my frame, just like so. After I glue them, I'm adding a different texture of leaves, green leaves, on the bottom of my sign. And I'm adding this beautiful Believe 3D sign from dollar tree as well and now for a hook i'm adding a beads beaded hook so we can put it on our wall and that's it and look how beautiful it came out i made just a simple burlap bow and that's it and look at the reed combination with my topiary and my belief sign and the matching candles you gotta let me know what do you think and if I gave you some inspiration for you to create for your home. I really had so much fun creating all those beautiful, happy, colorful, French inspired, Mackenzie Child inspired look.
my number 20 DIY. I'm using this hexagon planters from Dollar Tree. I'm using a couple of stands. I'm using this rope from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna need some tumbling towers. Next, I'm using a speckling, adding a vanilla chalk paint, mix it all well and going all over the planters so we can get that extra terracotta look on my planters. Going all over, I give them a good coat make sure i cover all of them just like so so we can get that french country look next i'm adding this stencil using a brown truffle chalk paint with a sponge going all over the design of the stencil just like so super simple covering with the paint where I had that bleed through and now I'm just with the truffle I'm just distressing going all over the planter so we can get that rustic look just like so on the edges as well I found these metal dowels at Hobby Lobby. They were like dollar each. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover them halfway with this Dollar Tree rope using a hot glue and just going around those dowels. Just like that. Next, what I'm doing is I'm making a stand for my planters. I'm using a couple of tumbling towers and I'm making them in a shape of X first, just like that, and adding extra on each side of it. The shape of cross, another two on the other side. And now for the stand, I'm going to make them up the last tumbling towers. Make sure my planter will fit. Just like so. Also adding another tumbling block on top. making a second stand the same way now i'm gonna use antique wax to make it darker just like that with a baby wipe going all over my stands tumbling tower block stands and now those metal dowels i'm gonna glue them on my planters I'm using two on one planter on the side and two on the other planter. I glue them. I also add the other planter on top, just like so. I have also added some screws over the camera on top of those dowels on top. And now I'm adding some stones, also from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna plant this beautiful succulent with the greeneries. They're real. I found them on sale at my local Kroger store. I'm adding some soil inside. Make sure they're all planted well, just like that. And we're gonna have a beautiful planter for my succulents and my greeneries. You're gonna see the final reveal. You're gonna love this and you're gonna want to remake this. It's super cute and unique. I gotta give credit to myself. <laughs> I'm coming up with this stuff sometimes, you know. Let me know if I give you some inspiration. And here how they came out all together. I put them outside for you guys can look. Let me know what do you think. 
and this is my top 20 easter spring diys you gotta let me know if i gave you some inspiration and if you went throughout the whole video thank you so much for watching and until our next time i'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy from me to you bye bye